Hey YouTube, it's Miss Chocolate Star here. I'm going to be doing a um, contest entry to Miss Black Gold 24, my strength contest. And I'm doing the video portion, which is we have to, um, our entries have to talk about a situation that they had to overcome. I feel like, <laughs> had to take a deep breath on this one. I feel like my whole life, is a whole test like at work I wish I would have took a picture of it so I could show you I have um, I printed out the saying there's no testimony without a test and I feel like that is exactly what my life has been going through throughout um, oh sorry showing bra strap I don't know how to say it shortly and simply well hey it's my life so I'll just go okay so being raped and molested at a very young age sorry phones on the lap charging being raped and molested at a very young age then put into foster care by a mother who if you, if you put your child in foster care after you've taken care of them for 11 years and you I grew up with my biological brothers and sisters to be separated from them at the age of 11 then going into other foster homes at the age of 12 it was just you have a sense of rejection and you have that wall built up against everybody it's like oh no this is as far as you can come you can't come past this wall I'm not going to let you come past this wall that was very traumatic for me because I see it now as a, an adult and for me to be a social worker a social worker like I never knew of the things that I just thought, oh, okay, I'm better than this. I I don't know how to articulate it. Let me see. Maybe I should have thought this out before I did a video, huh? But <laughs> as I go through grad school and I figured out that I have issues that I never addressed as a child, as a adolescent, as a young adult. Now in grad school it was affecting me. I was like, I can't I can't do this project on Antoine Fisher story. It's too similar to my life story. Break it down in class when we're talking about the mistreatment of foster children in the system. And I'm like, uh do my classmates know that I'm a foster child? Do they know that I was mistreated in the foster homes that I was going in and out of? Do they know that I feel like, oh, sorry, my eyes just sound weird there. Do they know that I struggle on an everyday basis because I have a birth family out there, but I have no connection to them. My foster family is now my family. My friends are my family. I I don't know. But overcoming that, I had to understand that there's nobody going to get you through this life but you. And understanding that my word, God's word, <laughs> I call it my word, because that's what's getting me through life. Overcoming the fact that it's a lonely life. It's a very lonely life if you feel like nobody's there for you. And to have that sense of rejection at such a young age is very lonely. But I had to overcome that because there's nobody here for me but me. I didn't know I was going to get emotional, but I am. But yeah. Oh... The situation that I had to overcome, let me just cut it short, is 
learning how to love self and know that I'm here for me regardless. I have to get through school. I have to, sorry, I have to take care of self and I have to know that The world is going to be cruel at times, but I have to be the strong person that I, that everybody knows me to be and to keep on shining my light so others can do the same as I have done. Because I enjoy being a mentee to other foster children, girls who have been through the same thing I have been through, rape and molestation, and encouraging them that you too can get through this I might want to redo this video because I did not mean to get emotional but when it's your life and it's what you have been through it is emotional and when you have suppressed it for so long years that is what it is but that is, I'm cutting it right here I've overcome so many things through life but the situation that I've overcome is my life.